Here you go. Good morning. Okay, um, I'm here with my sister Linda from San Francisco. She's dressed in San Francisco style. Uh, a long, a long coat. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's too hot. Away. Yeah, if it's too hot, would you you can take it off? But Put your shoesies up. This is how she. Uh, it's too hot for. Uh, uh, oh, here's my shoes. Yeah, there's oh, my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nikes, red Nikes. They struck my eye the minute I. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, yeah, it, it is too hot for this coat. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Well, I, I refer to my sister Linda as uh, my sister the revolutionary, which he just loves, you know. <laughs> and so I, I wanted to... the word I was her, thinking of, but I'll go with it. Because she's been talking about revolution in San Francisco mm -hmm. a lot longer than just this latest uh, Occupy City, uh, you know, and of course San Francisco. Would you tell about what San Francisco had? Well, well, I, I I joined up with the Revolutionary Poets Brigade. I got in right at the the beginning of this, and the, the uh, these poets are are fighting the world with words. They're not just fighting it with g g guns like like mm -hmm. our our, our uh, USA. <laughs> the only true best way to fight is with words so I decided oh this is pretty smart I'm going to join them and I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, fight with them if I possibly can get a few decent words out there <laughs> well she sent me a book already the revolutionary poets brigade yeah and the second yes and I thought oh my gosh the my sister Linda has now joined the revolutionaries <laughs> Well, the, sec <laughs> the second book is already started. Uh, Jack Hirschman, who was the poet laureate of, of San Francisco, is uh, uh, was a couple of years ago. He's he's all involved with the the the, next, the second book. He's already got uh, the, them everybody uh, giving poems for the second book. And well, this this so. uh, these poet. Of books have been of poets all over the world talking revolution, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's he he was in China and uh, Italy and in Bosnia, all over the place. This this past year, just this past year, he's amazing how, well, how much he gets around. Well, what did what do you think that that Occupy uh, San Francisco and what what did that have to do with the revolution? Did they go down there and get involved? Well, they're prote yeah, they're protesting the. the the, uh, all the what our government is doing has uh, brought us to this mess that we're in right now, and they're but they're trying to, you know, uh, say it with words so that so that I mean half of the country don't understand it. Even my, even my, my, me myself, since I've been in San Francisco, I felt like I, I I've gone through a university course on <laughs> communism. Uh, <laughs> Uh, poetry. Uh, 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 I even read Josephus, uh, the the Jewish antiquity. Uh, I'm like this on the seesaw. I'm going this way and that way. It's, it's stretching my mind like crazy. Where's know? my blue glasses? Uh, <laughs> well, gosh, I think so because didn't the revolution? Uh, you know, from what I read of the poets, they were addressing the the. Issue of the homeless. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, they're fighting for the homeless to get back in their homes. They're fighting. They're fighting the banks. They're fighting the corporations. They're fighting all of this. <laughs> this garbage that's fallen down on all of us. That's uh, made America uh, joblessness. You know the. Well, yeah, you might but, say um, then that this uh, movement was getting a good start in San Francisco before. Oh. Before well, this last year. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they, I've been with it for three years, so I know it started uh, around that time at least. This this group, but there's all kinds of groups like this, not only in San Francisco but all over in in L.A. There's a big group in L.A. I, oh, all over, everywhere. And, and in and Oakland, I guess that was quite the deal up there. Huh? Uh, in fact. In fact, uh, uh, the, the World Poetry Movement, which he, he's also involved in, uh, on uh, 
on leap year, they're supposed to, they've got this thing going, it's a great leap forward. And you're supposed to leap forward on, <laughs> on uh, You understand that concept, uh, dog? And everybody's supposed to do, on that day, that everybody's well, supposed to do a, a huge poetry reading all over. They're supposed to be worldwide. They're trying to get it uh, all involved. So. Well, I, I hate to be the one to interrupt for a moment. <laughs> I just interject here because I don't know if you knew that when I took poetry in college. Yeah. I got an A. <laughs> oh. he, he got an A. <laughs> I'm so surprised. don't worry about it. Whatever you say is not going to bother you. Uh, well, listen, well, what, you what, to do is what I'm having a hard time figuring so out writing. is you have always, you've been emphasizing humor. I mean, you're the only uh, medium comedian that I know. <laughs> you know, I, you don't hear too, too many mediums, well, uh, you know, that talk to the spirits. Well, the this, comedians. Well, this is why I was having such a terrible time with them over there because they 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 they, they were throwing all these heavy problems on me, and my humor got lost. <laughs> Your like, humor got oh, lost. Where's my laugh? No, no, no. Where are you? You know, I, I, it, it was just misplaced. Yeah, I, misplaced. I can picture. I can picture my sister, the revolution, you know, and I said, too, boy, these are serious poems. Too, ma uh, too many, uh, uh, you know, not enough laughs for me. And, and, and I thought, oh, God, I, I, I think i got to leave them and go back, go to the comedians. Like, the comedians were much better than <laughs> She's looking for the comics to San Francisco. But I haven't found the comics, and I've still got... There's but, no but, comics? Well, you, some of these poets are quite funny, you know, you can... Yeah, yeah, there's some of them that are quite funny, but some of them are, are, are absolutely too serious. Yeah, G.S. Eliot was a laugh writer. Oh, he was well, kind of funny. Everybody my, knows his he lines. He went to my college, by the way, and uh, T.S. Eliot, never mind. But, well, you mean he doesn't make fun of himself? Mm -hmm. Well, well, maybe you can be the one to introduce humor to him, you know, making fun of themselves along... Well, uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm smart enough to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, way, that's a high challenge. A high by high the challenge. way, I'm not grading you on anything. So don't worry about it. Well, Jack, Jack Kirschman, uh, uh, yeah, he'd be pretty formidable for me. <laughs> Well, I don't yeah. know, but I know you can't give up your sense of humor. You're you you um, enjoy it too much. Well, a lot of these women poets, the, the, this little Sarah, she's the hardest worker you ever see. She's right down there in the middle of those occupy uh, occupiers, Sanctus. camping out, doing uh, <laughs> bringing them food and donating this and that and the other and calling for help and. That. <laughs> Yeah, but where, I'm right here. Where were you? <laughs> no, I, I was back with my grandkids. I was just being my grandmother. <laughs> She's got a job. <laughs> I still got my job to do, take care of it. But, but when I send poems to them, they, they throw them back at me. He says, you don't, you're not getting in this book. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 you have been down here on the front lines with the there. revolution. I didn't get, I didn't get on the front lines. So, uh, but, but I still believe in a, a lot of, uh, of of what they're talking about, uh, and I kind of admire these people who will actually go down and get it and do this. I said, "Wow!" But there's a lot of crazy people down there, and, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, there's drugs uh, and crack and everything going on down there, and you say, mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to start out, you know, it's like a deck of cards, you know. You, who's the aces and who's the, you know. <laughs> Would you read one of your latest revolutionary poems to us just so, so they get a flavor of how this, uh, how well, she's writing? This, this is kind of serious. I haven't really got to my humorous one. <laughs> <laughs> or, Are you sure I should read a, a, a serious one? Well, just one? read that one little point so they can see okay. that the problem of trying to trying to find your sense of humor. It's pretty okay. rough. Okay. Well, this is this is called social consciousness for an overpopulated world. Ooh, that's heavy. You see, it is oh, not I'm about. Groovy, but that's groovy. <laughs> Okay, you see, it's not about a political party or race, it's about survival. 
a rational way of distributing the foods of the world to the most people so that greed does not eat everyone else's fair share of the commodities. It is a rational way of living together for the common good. We cannot tolerate dictators of the world profiting off the poor for their own selfish interests, lining their pockets with stolen money. Yes, they should be hunted down and stripped of their power, jailed, sent into exile, <laughs> accounts frozen, treated as the criminals they are. The days of money mongers are over. Yes, even in America, guns and war machines will rust alongside dead bodies for the meek shall inherit the earth <laughs> and respect the earth, its plants, its animals, its environment, its people. For we, the people, will stand side by side, planting the earth for the good of all. We will use the earth's gas, oil, and metal for the good of all. The animals, large and small, for the good of all. A necessary reality. Yes, it is about survival. Wow. Is that one that they sent back? Come on. Yeah. Don't you? Because she wasn't on the front lines. They have to be fair. This is applause. They have to be fair. No, no, you don't clap your fingers. You snap your fingers. Oh, oh. Thank you, sir. Listen, I lived through this situation. Oh. Well, I, what I'm holding out for is... Uh, there's humor in the middle of all the. Somewhere there's humor. Because I know she can't live without humor. Well, I have, she, um, she'd she'd soon uh, be looking away out of that revolution if she can't laugh. Wait a minute. Who's the older sister here that's telling the younger sister that Jean? <laughs> Well, when I, uh, uh, now, when 80 I years <laughs> old, you're still coming down on I'm 80 years old, yes. When I, when I, uh, I get among them and they get too serious, why I kind of, uh, they, they were calling for a platform of people to, uh, they wanted a bunch of poets to go out as a performance crew, you know, on the road. And, and <laughs> so I have to, and, I inject a little bit. They after they they, they said it for quite a long while. And then, I, and then I, suddenly I said, "Well, how long do we have to be on the road?" <laughs> <laughs> See, and I got my laugh. You know, oh, she, she just laughed. Road again, I'm back on the road again. They might tell me they don't even want it. Oh, the road. How old is this road? <laughs> I'm like you, uh, you know, getting in your laugh. She goes, uh, she goes, blah 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 blah, blah and you uh, you sit back there and get that one little laugh. You know, <laughs> in the back. Yeah, yeah. Can you change the world with laughter? Oh, with yes. poking fun, but, 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 with uh, uh, humor, but all, as well. All these very smart poets and and writers and stuff. They they scare me. You know, I I, I was terrified for about two years. <laughs> you didn't dare open your mouth, did you? <laughs> I've been terrified for seventy four years. What do you think about that? You got many more years. Oh, oh. Well, okay, we're going to keep track of her in her progress to see if she can bring humor and wit. Oh, because it'd be a shame if they lost that. What's the use of having a revolution if, if everybody's all grim and serious? Mm, you know, well, what's wrong with most of the revolutionaries that actually uh, made it? They they got a hold of the power, and then and then they the, then they start corrupting themselves. You know, they corrupt themselves. They they don't stay clean. Uh, they they get seventy. Let's see. What Castro got like fifty women pregnant. Oh, know, 50 and, women. <laughs> I hadn't heard that. Yeah, she, he's got all these so, children. By I, I hate to do it, break it to you, but there Did used you to find be that out in there? there used to be a uh, basketball player named Wilt, uh, who said that he had sex with twenty thousand women. Yeah, Think yeah, about that's, that kind for a minute, will you? that's kind of corrupt. That's kind of corrupt. Yeah, yeah. Lennon, he what? He killed millions of his own people. Uh, well, he didn't have sex with uh, them. Well, well uh, yeah, the revolution. I pretty soon it got leaked. Even this guy from North Korea, uh, Korea that just died a couple of days ago, they say he, uh, he, 
you know, he would carry live lobster with him on his train, so he would have the lobster. Uh, what, what was that going to do to the people, you know? The guy's <laughs> up there carrying his live lobster, and we're down here slaving away like... like <laughs> Living on 10 cents a day. 10 cents a day. Did he have sex with the live lobster? <laughs> <that's right. laughs> well, I, you know, I know. Uh, no. to me, it's like humor is kind of like sanity, you know, <laughs> like seeing your fo foibles, seeing... Uh, and, you know, kind of not taking yourself that serious <laughs> at times. Yeah. I noticed that. I noticed that when I was in San Francisco on our trip, that they, they were a pretty serious bunch. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So, uh, but I, I trust you. I believe that you can find a way to interject your humor because well, you uh, always stop people. Well, this is so what I, I went on uh, 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 Facebook, where I go on Facebook, because Facebook is one-liners, you know. If you can get your one-liner on Facebook, Doc should be on Facebook so he can get his one-liner He out is there. on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, if you can get a one-liner, two-liner down there, well, I, 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 that, that's funny why uh, you... That's you, you funny, got <laughs> see? She's thinking funny. She's thinking funny, entertaining. <laughs> Until you could get, if you could get people mm -hmm. to laugh, I think they'll they'll watch you, they'll listen to you a lot better. But mm -hmm. if you're dead serious all the time, pretty soon people are going to turn you off. They're going to say, "Oh no, we can't listen to that this morning." Oh dear. Yeah. Well, if you lose your sense of humor and ability to see the ridiculousness of whatever you might be doing. Yeah. Then you might not see some of the faults of it. That's how you'd fall into doing some of this uh, corrupt stuff once you got into any kind of power. Yeah, well. I felt like saying to Jack Hirschman, well, what are you going to do uh, with that quality in people where they, if they do get a little power uh, and they start. Well, I'm not so sure, but, you know, when I got myself a little bit of money, I got, got kind of corrupt. I went. <laughs> <laughs> I went oh, right oh yeah, you gamble, right? <laughs> I went out and gambled away, you know. Uh, <laughs> I was quite sure I could make a living by gambling. You know, and, uh, and I, it was a complete fallacy. <laughs> That's like the guy said. Well, I went to Las Vegas, you know, and I, I had this $50,000 Mercedes, and I come back on the Greyhound. <laughs> come back on the Greyhound, yeah. Well, that's me. I thought, well, you know, when these banks were giving money away so freely, I said, well, sure, yeah. I can take a little money, and, and I can make money with this money. <laughs> well, that's how, how much it was. I blew it. You know? <laughs> It and ended so, up at the, so at I, the off racing track, right? <laughs> if I got any power, would I handle my power any better either? I don't know if I could or not. I mean, you got to to clean out your own uh, corruption within yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that you know, I uh, I went to San Francisco too, and I was thinking, uh, I wanted to help you with your uh, cause with the San Francisco <laughs> people, uh, poets of. You know that the humor, the mm -hmm. humor is is what I thought was missing. Yeah. That uh, that I thought that you would help provide because I know you can be very funny. Well, aren't you supposed <laughs> to read some of your funny poems? <laughs> well, I, I don't. Have she didn't enough. bring her funny poem. She just brought well, a revolution. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. But you are coming out with a book, books, right? Yeah, I, I uh, well, during this, uh, while they were occupied with that, I was occupied with finishing my books. Hey, I finished both of my books. Two of uh, them? Mataweja and Loving and Hating with Charles Bukowski is going to come out right after the, uh, the year's over. And just think I can get all that shit on my back. I can get all that old, old stuff. I mean, I, I feel like this year I'm starting my, my Is your, uh, is your mad, the story of Mad Ouija, your breakdown, is that funny or is no, that? No, it's not very funny. It might be funny to other people. <laughs> it was you were trying to, uh, I mean, I just to said, get to the I'd humor. I'd like to interject one thing. You're the worst interviewer I've ever heard. I, I, I remember one time uh, look good. I thought it was one of the funniest things she said during the breakdown is she said, well, Margie, I'm ready, to, that was my other sister, I'm ready to leave here, but I, um, but I want you to come and take my place. <laughs> in the, in the session, in other words, <laughs> you're, 
Well, she was as crazy as I was. <laughs> She's trying to get out of uh, looking crazy. She just barely escaped. But. <laughs> when the five sisters displayed well, uh, how insane they all were. Re rewriting this book again and, get, uh, and getting it ready uh, uh, for publication, uh, it sent me into, see, I was talking in the voice of God during this <laughs> It, it, I think it was to get over the top of someone I, I was living with. I had a pretty big voice, you know, I had to go over the... I was the oldest. The, the, voice older, of God. the, the oldest sister, so... Well, uh, so, didn't did you audition for The Exorcist and they turned you down because you She was literally on, talking in a voice of God that was, voice. you know... So while I was uh, writing this, I had to go back and, and research the, uh, the Jewish people, the people who actually talked with God, you know, I said, well, I'll go back there. It's been a long time ago, but I'll go back and see what in the hell happened to me. So I, I ended up reading this whole history of the Jewish antiquity uh, during, the, during the time I was writing that book. And so, so I can, because I wanted some people who actually talked with God. Now, I, <laughs> there's not really a lot who do that nowadays. <laughs> so, no, no. Well, really, she went to the... I, she she went somewhere on a journey talking to God. <laughs> Letting God talk through me, it was <laughs> the voices <laughs> through them. Uh, but I said, if you read this book and you don't feel like you've gone through a breakdown, I haven't done my job. <laughs> well, that's the way I look at it. You know, if, if you don't feel oh, as bad as I do, if you don't feel and all her sisters are just shaking and trembling. They haven't read it yet. No, I haven't let them read it yet because I was afraid if I let them read it, they'll say, "Oh, don't do do this, do that." So, and it wouldn't really be my my voice. I'd be getting my uh, from both ears, I'd have my sisters in there go, coming out my mouth, see? <laughs> well, that's, that's the best orifice that I can think of. Like, the mouth. Uh, I, I love that name. I love that. Madawija is a great name for Yeah, this. and I found out that Madawija is, is another name for God. That is God. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> So that's how Mad I, you, that's when I uh, when I uh, ended the book, I says, and hey, yeah, and I found out that. that and I say, why? Uh, the last line in the book says, I found out uh, Ouija was another name for God, and um, why'd you do it, God? <laughs> I didn't know. And that. then I, I knew when I was young, we had a Ouija board. I didn't know you pushed around the Ouija board, you know what I mean? You push it around, yeah, yeah. A, C, oh. uh, you know what I mean? Pull, I pushed, you don't push, they push. Well, that's what I mean. God, God does it. God pushes. It's a Ouija board. <laughs> I realized that God oh, was trying it, to... It, it just can't be explained in a few minutes, I'm telling I you. I realized that God was trying to accelerate my, uh, my study into the unknown. And so, uh, and, it, and it, it did. <laughs> Believe me, it, it accelerated it. <laughs> and then, on, on her stories in Phoenix, mm -hmm. is the next book, and it's called The... Loving and hating Charles Bukowski. No, no, not it. The oh, the next one after that is about my uh, my time after uh, Bukowski is is called Survival of the Unfit. <laughs> I think that's a wonderful title too. That was her years in Phoenix with the unfit. That's down on Buckeye Road with the unfit. <laughs> I had I had apartments down on Buckeye Road, and I, I can be funny there. Uh, be do funny. you know? Yeah, this? yeah, she can. Psychiatrist, so see? you're in a very defensive mode right now, my holy. Uh, <laughs> so. Well, Don't you know, I'm so the youngest sister. Is, <laughs> well, yeah, next to her, that scared the hell out of anybody right there. I can put up with it every day. I don't know. How do you do this? I, I, don't, I don't either. I should well, I drink a lot. Okay? <laughs> I should interview you on camera. See how you end up <laughs> being with the. Uh, you, you oh, so okay, well, I, I think this has been a wonderful introduction to <laughs> my sister, the revolutionary. I refer to her as the revolutionary. Uh, and are you convinced? <laughs> of what? So, that my sister really is. Investigating the spirit of the revolution. I, I thought she was in jail. I didn't <laughs> see him now. He 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 makes a joke out of everything. He has no I, I revolution. Did, I he <laughs> well, I think we should stop and. But thanks a lot, Linda. And well, I'm looking forward to reading your stuff. Okay.